Hi everyone. I'm going to be doing something that I haven't showed you. And it's going to be called a tuna melt. And a lot of people come from a, an era where they had like tuna sandwiches and tuna can, of course and sandwiches and, and tuna melt. So this is a really quick video. I've already showed you how to make tuna in my previous um, video. So I'm going to show you how to do a nice tuna melt. Okay. So basically I've heated up my skillet and then I found a, um, a walnut, a roasted walnut oil at a local farmer's market. Very delicious. And I'm just going to pour just a little bit in there. And the reason why I'm pouring it in there is because you could brush it on, but um, for me, this works. <laughs> because I could just take my bread, my sliced bread, and just kind of roll it around like that. And so if you were on a skillet, um, or on a... On a this is a skillet, but if you were on a cast iron, um, if you were at a restaurant and say you're, you're, on, you're operating the grill, basically this is how you would do it. And what, the main thing is I want to heat up um, that bread and I want to heat up both sides. So, and sometimes you may want to use a press, but I'm just going to use my very clean hands and just kind of I sit down. I found this. It, I I sampled this, and it was so delicious. And it was made organically, made by um, authentically made, <laughs> inorganically made by a um, artisan um, who handcrafted this this wonderful walnut oil. So, and I had a taste, and I had to have it. And since I've purchased it, I've been really happy. It was kind of pricey, but hey. I mean, it's delicious. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn that over. I'm going to keep that like pretty much on low heat because I want my um, my cheese to melt on there. So, and I just took a piece of my cut a piece of my bread. You can do it as thin or as thick as you want, and I think the bet the thinner the better. And I'm probably just going to use half of this and you can spread it out and let me go ahead and flip that over because I want to make sure that both sides are nice and warm and see and I'm seasoning my skillet at the same time <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead because the crispier side is the side that I want so usually you would butter both sides but I'm not going to do that on a healthier I'm just going to use um, that one side and actually I'm going to put it on the thinner side and You can put more cheese if you'd like But um, I just want to give you the basics on how to make this And so I kind of whipped up some tuna here and it's got It's an albacore tuna. It's got vegan knees. It's got um, this um, This ranch dressing from the veganese um, uh, The veganese Company. I put some sliced onions. I put uh, chopped red onions and some whole grain mustard, and I just flavored it up. I didn't put any salt or pepper because it has wonderful flavors. And I also put um, chopped pickles. You could put relish in there if you like. And this is like, and see that that cheese is already melting. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this tuna in the middle and you may think that oh you're gonna get salmon manila but if you have a really good uh, mayo you can make your own mayo if you like okay that's probably a boring video but I thought let me make this <laughs> and then you just kind of if you want to Here's another option. You put, oops, you can put the cheese on top of that, and that way you have cheese on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and lower that because, I, like I said, I don't want it. 
I don't want it to um, cook really fast. I'm going to flip it over. Well, it's scorched a little, but that's okay. <laughs> it's really flavorful. <laughs> but you really don't want that scorched. But um, that'll give you an idea. And then if you want to, you can cover it with another pan. And that way it'll, you know, bring the heat within the whole sandwich. So the heat will go on the inside of the sandwich and it'll melt the, the um, cheese will be melted and it'll be yummy. And I have it on low heat, very low heat. You don't want it too high. See, as you see, I have it on low heat. There you go. And then, basically, I'm warming up the interior. And these pans are really neat, so you could um, use it. You know, you could just use it and you can heat up. Or you could use another, like a lid. Sometimes I use a glass lid. But since I have the pan right here in front of me, I'm going to go ahead and use it. So, okay. So basically, that's how you make your tuna milk. And there you have it. Nice tuna melt. And you got your, see how that's melted? The cheese is melted. And yum. And enjoy. Okay, I hope that's helpful. I'm going to enjoy this um, tuna melt. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Okay.